Oh, fuck. You don't sound happy! Well, I know Homer's happy, but I certainly am not. It's... Oh, it's the women's champion! I don't, I don't even think we need to be here. She seems to be able to commentate her own matches. Well, don't we all? That doesn't even make sense to what I just said. Don't we all? That still doesn't explain anything. Oh, she's talking to shut up! Of Jamax! And all the men want me! Not AJ! No man wants AJ! All the men they flock to Baka! We saw how Homer wanted AJ earlier. Oh, it's a beautiful man! I think he secretly likes her! Oh, the beautiful man in the audience! And all the beautiful men watching at home! Did you just say that you're a beautiful man? I am too good for you! Whoa, I am a very impressive physique! You can't tell me little girl AJ, who is never going to defeat me for this championship! She will never be as beautiful as She called you beautiful too, that's a laugh! Yes, it is. So she can get us. So she's calling out AJ knowing full well what Homer did earlier. And apparently we're still gonna have this women's championship match. It's time to light it up. So who do you got in this one? Well first let's see if AJ even makes it out here. I would assume she has to. It's been a rough it's been a rough first week for AJ. Slowly getting out here. Yeah. Something seems to happen to the second half of her shirt though. <laughs> that damn icorn stole it! <laughs> yeah, it makes sense. He stole half the black shirt. Makes makes total sense. AJ and trying to get something going, but obviously weakened. And now Paka who well, I may remind you has only wrestled in two matches, and is somehow the women's champion. Well, see, you want a battle royal? You don't need skill to do that. No, you do not. Considering you, you said you've been a champion, so I'm assuming it was a battle royal. In Indonesia, all you do is battle royals. What's your obsession with Indonesia? I was an Indonesian world champion. Where is Indonesia at? Just I, where on a map? In the what? country of Asia. The country of Asia. AJ! That's what just came out of your stupid mouth. Well, yeah! AJ showing some fighting spirit! AJ with the drop kicks and he popped over the top rope. If this was a battle royal, AJ would be the winner. But this is not. This is a one fall contest. AJ! Going up top! Not sure that's smart. And she. She agrees with you, surprisingly. Apparently, crazy people agree. AJ! Although she's hurt, still, that's enough to at least fight Paka, who isn't very experienced. Did you say that Paka was very experienced? Oh no, low blow, weren't you gonna what? complain? But, wh what? That should not have worked. Is that Linda Mix 7? Well, no! I don't know. Whatever it takes! Why does Paka keep a bell in her vagina? That's all I'm curious. Like, is there a hotel in her that's vagina? That's the, that's the, uh, Jeremax rape bell. Oh. Yeah. We're that merchandising. Makes that makes sense. I know, I, I bought at least... Oh, no! A collision! Sends Paka through the ropes. AJ with a club across the chest, sending Paka to the ground. However, the title cannot change hands on account oh, no! of AJ with the plancha. <laughs> But she misses. She put everything on the line there! And another low blow that causes the rape whistle to ding. <laughs> That's the rape bell! Excuse me, it's like Drake Bell, but... You have to say it, it's our brand! You gotta keep up the image! It looks it's like... The, Jer the, the Jeremax registered rape bell. I patented it! You did? Well, yeah! It's your creation? The ladies were all over me in Indonesia! I won a lot of battle royals. So you, so because they wanted you, you made sure you couldn't rape them. Have you seen Indonesian women? They look a lot like Blee. That's all I know. They look a lot. Well, hey, are you insinuating I go after little boys? And AJ and Paka run into each other for a third time. Paka shoving AJ to the ground. No, no real wrestling maneuvers. This is kind of a brawling style for Paka. That's Jeremy Max's Divas Division for you. 
<laughs> no real experience, just a brawling style. You know, other than people like Wit, Nick, and Daniel Bryan, it's just a bunch of wacky girls who I hire. Where has Daniel Bryan been recently? I don't know, probably on the internet. Huh. Of course, other former women's champions like Jennifer Hudson and Rachel. Homer's favorite. Of course! Homer seems to love all the divas. I actually talked to Homer backstage about Rachel, and uh, he said, What are you doing in my locker room? Well, wait a minute! But then he told he made Frankie kick me out. So. Look at this wrestling maneuver! Giant swing by Paca. <laughs> that could be it! Someone put a sensor bar for AJ there. That was indecent. And, I guess uh, you could say she's under aged <laughs> <laughs> or not no, no you couldn't say that oh I did look at this octopus stretch octopus octopus a delicacy in Singapore AJ Singapore what? Singapore Indonesia same thing well no Lucas wait, Gomez wait, didn't Paca says screw this well, do you blame her she can't even beat a weekend AJ <laughs> Looks like she's going to get potentially disqualified and keep the title. If only there was disqualifications, because she's getting counted out. It's the same thing. I guess. She's not being a very impressive champion. And that's it. Aka apparently wins. <laughs> that really goes seven minutes? Holy hell. At least we give our Davis time! Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. Wait a minute! La -ma 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 -la -ma -la. <laughs> it's the world -ma 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 -ma. champion! Hey, it's Frankie. He just kicked me out of Aquan's locker room. Primo being very cocky for his king! Didn't know what he's talking about. You keep mocking him, but you're the reason he's world champion. I am? Well, you made fun of him, and that caused him to st start. So, so what you're saying is I'm owed royalties from Juramax. No, I'm not uh, saying uh, that. That's what I heard. Oh, wait a minute, I'm talking about Ginger. Ooh. Uh-oh. Primo Slowking said the wrong thing. Well, I guess he really deserves this. You don't talk about a man's woman, Lamero Bomb. Lamero Bomb. Batista bump. Frankie He's not done. On. Frankie, his advice is not paying off. Well, the only problem is the male mer mer males is not going for a GDT. Oh, that's not nice. What? Watch out for the GDT. See, he did have something to say. Watch out for the GDT. Uh, I feel Watch bad for Frankie. He's not a fighter. Watch out for the GDT. Looks like Bolt. Watch out for the GDT. Are you sure that Frankie and Bolt's not the same the person? They might be. And now we are so, speaking of Bulk, his former partner, Dr. Professor Jason Narvi, one of the four men in this number one contenders battle royal. You don't laugh at a man's prestigious education like that. Sure, his doctor, it's like in theater or something, he's still a doctor. And there he is, Professor Dr. Jason Narvi. He says he's gonna be the most mature superstar in Jeremax place needs some maturity. It does, and he's hoping to bring it by winning this match and eventually the world title. There's the artist formerly known as Winter Bradley. You're not a fan of Winter Bradley, is it? Well, it doesn't matter if I'm a fan of him. I'm not a fan of the artist formerly known as Winter Bradley. Are you a fan of his wife, Rachel Bradley's? No, I am not. Here comes El Jefe, the only one in this match who's won a world title. I do believe that name is said El Jefe. Well, no, I, I don't. My Bubba impression's very bad. As opposed to your Don Burkitis impression. Well, I can't impress myself. You don't impress anyone. I know, because my impressions are so bad. And here comes Bob Backlund, the fourth participant in this match. Oh, it's the man, Grover Cleveland. Oh, excuse me. My man. The main man, the 22nd and the 24th. President of these United States, he looks good for his age. I taught him back when he was just a child. 
So you were his mentor, much in the way that Huff Daddy's the mentor of Kevin Nash. I guess. But as the winner of this gets a future title shot at the Global Equality Bash. The Global Equality Bash. Yes, the big show where we have a tournament to decide which country is the best. Where you bash global equality. Wait a minute, roll up this could be it already, no! A vertical suplex. Glover, Glover Cleveland clearly watching the show. Well, he knows what works. Also a fan of Gangrel, it seems. Well, no, he took off his coat. That means he's serious business. Oh, okay. Grover with an impressive win over El Jefe shows he can hang with the big boys. So, what's the difference between El Jefe and Hef Icorn again? Well, Hef Icorn is just Mad Icorn from an alternative universe. Yes, of course. Where people made fun of him and called him an El Jefe ripoff uh -huh. to the point where he went crazy and just decided, fuck it, I'll be El Jefe. Okay. And then, you showed up and asked about it. Yes. That is, and I gave that response. That's exactly what happened. And now we're here. And how does Ivan Ooze fit into all this? Well, he's not here. He's only in the movies. Double team powerbomb. This is an elimination battle royal. And there's a single leg Cuban crab. Like, I guess it's a battle royal. The, you don't win it by throwing your opponents over the top rope. No, this is pinfall submission only. Still an and elimination style match. The artist throwing his head into the dick of El Jefe, who doesn't like that. And Winter Bradley's the artist, formerly known as Winter Bradley's, thrown to the outside. Grover Cleveland, head scissors on Jason, Doctor Professor Narvi. Gotta give him credit though. Ever since he stopped being the character Skull, he's been a lot more focused. A lot less boring too. Or a lot more boring. I guess. He doesn't laugh all the time either. That's nice. Oh, Savat kicked the back of the head. And Bulk's been boring too. Well, Bulk, he's under the tutelage of Otunga now. Yes, I hear that he is teaching David Otunga. He is the B-lister. You gonna make fun of me for my word slip up all show? Yes, I'm gonna make fun of your word me up. Well, I'm gonna tell him not to pay you so much. I'd like to see you try. You can only inflate my pay, not deflate my pay. Dolphin, why do you get to get paid ten dollars? I only get seven. Because I'm worth the extra three bucks. Now, F.A. working in the corner on the Dr. Narvi. Grover Cleveland clearly trying to smell what El Jefe had for lunch. Grover Cleveland seems to have it out for Jefe. He wants to take down, you know, the biggest threat in this match, El Jefe, former world champion. It would be a smart strategy to take out the biggest man, just like we saw Skippy Pearls and Alberto Del Rio try and do, but Dracon overcame those odds and did become the Intercontinental Champion earlier in this show. As we saw in that replay, he did throw Skippy Pearls out of the ring. He did indeed throw Skippy Pearls out of the ring. That did warrant a replay. Wait, we gotta cover. One, two, and Dr. Jason, or Narvi Professor Dr. Narvi Doctor is out. Grover Cleveland using some of that Lucha experience he's been learning. Under the tutelage of Sin Cara that he's been teaching. <laughs> and there is a interesting maneuver by El Jefe. El Jefe is focusing on the artist for some reason. Now they're both working over the big man. 580 pounds of El Jefe! Inconspicuous by her absence is the artist's wife, Rachel. I also noticed that Matt Icorn is not out here. Could be a coincidence or it could be something. Well, you don't want to come out here when the Dr. Professor Man has those steel steps circling around the ring. Well, wouldn't you be pissed if you just lost your chance at the bull title? And not even to a finisher either! No, to Grover Cleveland's Lucha Maneuver. Now! Whoa! Oh. And Grover Cleveland not doing such a good job against these two. Double team maneuver on Cleveland with the double power bomb. Winner Bradley's the artist, formerly known as Whoa! Whoa! Big Splash. He slammed his dick into his face. They touched penises there. <laughs> he did just try to touch him in that low blow, and Winner no sold it. Grover's so Katrina Rock in an El Jefe. And that. Standing sidekick. It's going for another. This 450 splash! And it connects! <laughs> no! He follows it up with a Vader bomb. That's gotta be it! He can't survive two moves! Grover Cleveland is eliminated. What a double team! He was the 22nd, the 24th, and the second man eliminated. 
and we are down to Hell Hefe, and the artist formerly known as Winter Bradley is one of these two are going to get a world title shot. Interesting fact, neither one of these men could beat Matt Eichhorn, so it really doesn't matter who wins. Well, no, I don't have to Matt Eichhorn have never battled. But they, he couldn't beat him. Well, it's pretty much true. Oh, Matt Eichhorn is a top caliber contender. El Jefe stuck here in the mid court. Once again, we'd, Jerry Max would like to thank Epileptic Cameras for filming this match for us. Wait a minute, no! Doc the artist! Butterflies the arm. Sensor! Head suplex. Matt Eichhorn loving this match. He's got El Jefe, he's got the artist. I'm sure he's loving someone's wife that's in this match. Oh, I feel bad for your wife! I'm not in the match. Another butterfly over here. I really gotta give it to the artist! He's been through so much, this is his big moment! If he if he single-handedly could take out El Jefe and become the new number one contender, he will deserve it. Until he but can he stand up to bash. people? Can the artist defeat people like Lamorella or, El or Icorn? I don't think he can. No, absolutely not. And a oh! huge clothesline! Well, maybe he can! If he defeats El Jefe, it would definitely be a, a step in the right direction, but... Man, well, I the world champion is would have to... He's king of the heavens. Side Russian legs sweep by El Jefe. All El Jefe has to do is land two big moves, and it could be over. He has such weight and such strength in his attacks. Wait a minute, here's one of them! And it's that one homer maneuver! That's the El Heavy driver, he's no, gonna fall it's that, it's that Homer move. Double stop! Double stop! Double stop! It's over! Double stop! Right on the afro! Wait, some no, side rushing leg sweep! The double stop must have faced! He's going up! Double stop! Double stop! Uh oh, 450. We're not! 90 miles connects and he just gets up! Oh, well. That was unimpressive. Uh, seems like that wasn't supposed to happen. Well, hip toss? Hip toss, it looks like it happened anyways. Alright. Definitely didn't look like El Jefe was about to win there or anything. He's about to win now, another that El Jefe driver! Move. That homer move! Double stomp! Double stomp! Or pin him. And it's over! Hey, El Jefe somehow won after hitting his finisher about 17 times. El Jefe has a shot at the title now. Lamorell and Icorn, I don't think he's faced either of them before. I may be wrong. So this is going to be a fresh matchup. Hey, you're probably wrong. Globally, yeah, probably. There's that homer move. The big ass of El Jefe is getting back in the main event scene. Why because that's all that's on the camera! We've got a lot to go! We only have one part left. <laughs> it's a lot! The main event! Who's gonna fight El Jefe? We'll find out next! If you wanna watch Matt Icon win, tune in for part 5. You're very confident he's going to win!